Hello everyone, my name is Nick Botnan. I'm an account manager here with Donaldson. And today we're here to talk about our new technology, FilterMinder Connect. Now this is our real-time filtration monitoring solution. And I think to start out, we just kind of need to ground ourselves on what we were looking to achieve when we set out growing and developing this technology. First and foremost, we wanted to be able to provide actionable information back to you to better and more effectively manage your fleet today. Um, we do this by integrating our technology into software applications that you have already deployed out in your organization today. If you've already spent the time, the money, and the effort to deploy these types of enterprise technologies, we want to take advantage of that. We don't want to have to recreate the wheel and add additional componentry if we don't need to. This technology is designed to maximize uptime. We're confident that we've built a first-class user experience with this solution based on 107 years of Donaldson's leadership in the filtration industry. And then you combine that with the 45 plus years of filter miners leadership in the filtration monitoring industry. Uh, this technology is mitigating against those unplanned downtime occurrences. We hear the costs of 30, 40, $50,000 anytime an engine goes down. Recently, I heard $100,000. And by their very definition, we don't know when these are going to occur. So whatever we can do to help mitigate against those occurrences is valuable to you and the organization. Over time, we will be able to develop historical data sets. Um, so we'll be able to see how certain ap applications and certain machines perform in certain geographic areas over time. Also, this technology is designed to free up time. If we have a better understanding and we can provide better lead time into when these service activities are going to occur on, on equipment, we can more effectively plan and schedule for these activities. Now, I like to think about this from a service technician perspective. I always see articles um, published about the need and the desire to not only find, but also retain those ser capable service technicians that have that dual skill set of being able to open a hood and crank a wrench and get dirty, but also understand all of the technology that goes into equipment these days. Sensor technology has grown exponentially over the years and it's only gonna continue to grow. So when you have those individuals, it's critical to make sure they're working on the most important projects as they come in for servicing. Now, if we think about that on the other side and we look at it from an inventory perspective, um, if we have a better understanding as to when we're gonna need these replacement elements and inventory, there may be that opportunity down the road to free up some of that capital that you have tied up in inventory costs today and use in other areas of your business. And lastly, we developed this technology with the greatest degree of flexibility as we can while still keeping it a scalable solution. And so what we've done is we've developed different modules and or applications. So we have an air filtration module or application, a fuel filtration module or application, hydraulic module or application, and an oil condition module or application. So we've designed it so that it can grow as your, as your organization grows and as your needs grow. We're about to go look at some of our sensing technology onboard and asset, but before we do that, I wanted to spend a few moments talking about our components themselves. Over here, you can see our graduated indicator. Now, this is technology that FilterMinder pioneered some years ago. Now, this is a static mechanical indicator that just goes pop when it's time to change your air filter. Now, historically, this really only provides value to the operator of that asset or to the service technician conducting that service activity. Historically, we've never gotten that information into the back office. So what we've done is we've developed a real-time dynamic sensor that is able to generate raw sensor data in real time off of your filtration systems, which we can then enrich and analyze and turn into actionable information. Now this sensor comes with a battery life embedded into the sensor itself. So it is designed to last the life of your ownership of this asset. We also have our heavy duty sensor. Now this is a sensor that we use for our fuel filtration monitoring where we're able to put one sensor upstream of the fuel filter and one sensor downstream of the fuel filter. We monitor the pressure differential and that will tell us what the remaining useful life left is on that fuel filter. These are common parts and production parts for us today. We have hundreds of thousands of these components out in the world operating as we speak. We also have our liquid sensor. Now this is our oil condition sensor that we embed directly into the flow of your engine oil, where we're monitoring key properties within that engine oil that we can then analyze and enrich and turn into actionable information as to how that engine oil is performing on that asset. We also have a couple of other components here, and you can see this is our universal transmitter. This component essentially takes our wired liquid sensors that we wire for power and turns them into a wireless broadcast onboard the asset. The reason this is important is we're eliminating wiring and additional componentry on your equipment. Instead of having to wire the entire machine, we're able to broadcast the sensor data locally on the asset. 
We also have our Donaldson Easy Receiver. Now think of this as like a data aggregate device where we can receive up to 12 wireless sensor inputs at any given moment. So as we scale up and as you add additional components or applications, we can leverage this device. Now through our strategic partnership with Geotab, we are able to hardline integrate directly into the Geotab system. Now this is where we can turn our raw sensor data into actionable information and we can display that actionable information directly in the Geotab platform through our dashboards. Now we're gonna go take a look at this technology on board of a, a waste asset, but we see this technology being used in mining applications, in, in agriculture, in construction, and in transportation. Now let's go take a look at our first application. This application happens to be on a Donaldson FPG air cleaner. Now let's take a closer look at the wireless air sensor. Now this is a direct replacement for our static mechanical indicator. It's as simple as unthreading the mechanical indicator and threading in our wireless sensor. The sensor comes live and will begin to generate data in real time once you turn on the machine and it cycles through. Our next application is our hyd hydraulic monitoring solution. This is one of our most recent installations where you can see we're monitoring two key areas. We're monitoring the hydraulic filter itself, where we've installed one of our heavy duty sensors to monitor the pressure differential, which will tell us then the remaining useful life. You can also see we have our hydraulic fluid sensor installed directly into the flow of those hy hydraulic fluids. Now these sensors do re require an external power source uh, for power. And in a moment, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the universal transmitters, which allow us to broadcast these outputs wirelessly on the machine. Here's our universal transmitter. Now these happen to be mounted just a few feet from where the sensors are located. However, we can mount these anywhere near the sensors as well. Now what these transmitters are designed to do are take these wired liquid sensors that we have and allow them to broadcast a wireless signal locally on the machine, which we can then collect at our Donaldson Easy Receiver. The last application we're gonna look at is our oil condition monitoring solution. Now, as you can see here is our lube oil filter right here. And on the other side of this engine block is our real-time oil condition sensor. We embed this in the flow of the engine oil where we monitor three critical properties and we're adding more uh, as we develop the solution. Today, we're monitoring the temperature, the viscosity, and the dielectric constant. With this sensor, it does require a wired power source. However, we do incorporate the universal transmitter, which allows us to broadcast a wireless signal to the easy receiver. Now, as I mentioned, we have two components that we'll find underneath the dashboard in this particular machine. Here, you can see our Donaldson easy receiver. Now, this is the data aggregate device that I had mentioned where we collect all of the wireless signals from all of the sensors that we have located on this machine. Now, through our integration with Geotab, we hardline directly into the Geotab telematics device, which allows us to send the data up into the cloud, and then we can display that actionable information back to you directly in the Geotab platform. Thank you for your time today. If you're interested in learning more, please go to donaldson.com slash filterminderconnect. Or if you're interested in exploring field trials, please reach out to your local Donaldson representative.